up? This is Don Vito. I'm here with my guy Antonio with the with the Nocturnal uh, at the BMI Awards. And uh, today I'm being uh, celebrated for a songwriter of the year, a uh, pop award for a song that I did called uh, uh, Do It To It. And how did that, you know, how, what was the process of, can you take us a little bit through the process of making that song and how it came you to You know what's so crazy? Here's the process of making that song. I actually wrote the song in t with, with uh, a couple of writers. We wrote the song in 2006. So almost 20 years ago. Yeah. And in 2020, I received a call. Yeah, I received, no, 2021, I received a call like, hey, we're thinking about, we like the song, we want to do it. I was like, all right, you know, overseas, I'm like, okay, cool, fine. I listened to it, I was like, all right, I'll clear it. And before you knew it, boom, it blew. I was like, wow, whoa, <laughs> okay. Do you have a specific process that you, that you have when you're putting a song together? Or is it just studio? Uh, well, I, I mean, it's no real process mm -hmm. to it besides I try to create energy in the room, make it a comfortable thing, have some conversations, get a good feeling with people, and then see what we can come up with. I don't really be like, okay, today I'm going to press this button and I'm going to do this. It's just like, all right, just the vibe I'm on. What you want? Okay, cool. Let's go. What would you say is your, like, your favorite producer or producer you look up to? Dr. Dre. And what's your favorite Dr. Dre album? California Love. Uh, Dr. Dre, all of them. All of them. You like all, right? Yeah. All right. Well, do you have any, you know, last question, do you have any advice for anyone who might be, you know, trying to be a writer or producer? Yeah. As a, if you're a songwriter, you want to get with a producer so that you can come up with a sound. The whole thing is coming up with a sound. So as a songwriter, you want to get with a producer. As a producer, you want to get with a songwriter. Because the whole key thing is bass hits. You want to create a sound. And if I don't have a sound as a producer or a writer, then, you know, it's hard for me to, that my confidence ain't on. You know what I'm saying? What, what made you guys want to start doing music? I don't think it was a choice, we just kind of did it. Yeah, just kind of happened into it from a very young age, both of us. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't wise enough to invest in a plan B, so uh, it was always going to be music. I didn't care how, how much or how little music, uh, money I made doing it or uh, how much notary I had doing it. I just wanted to do it. So yeah, I just, just kind of lucked out. What, what would you say you're most excited for tonight and like uh, looking forward to most tonight? Just hanging out with our family. Uh, brought my daughter. He brought his wife. So just enjoying the evening. Yeah. Uh, we've, you know, we've been here many times throughout the years, and uh, so we kind of know what to expect, and just to enjoy it and take it in, and yeah, be great, grateful, reflect on uh, all we've been given. Yeah. Awesome. And do you have any advice for any of um, like our viewers or up and coming artists or wanna uh, might wanna do music as well? I think uh, either you're gonna do it or you aren't, you know. And either you're gonna stick it out or you aren't. No, nothing I'm gonna say is gonna make you do anything other than that. Either you're gonna get your heart broken enough that you give up on it, or you're gonna get your heart broken and keep doing it and live with heartbreak and be an artist. And thus it is being an artist. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, I believe I'm here because uh, for the songs "First Class" by Jack Harlow and uh, "Vegas" by Doja Cat. Um, and you know, First Class was is an incredible song that I'm so proud to be a part of, and we worked really hard on Jack's entire album and developed a really amazing musical relationship with him. And I've known and been working with Doja for a long time now, probably five or six years, so it feels really good to get an award for somebody that I am working with recently and someone that I've been working with for a long time. So how many of, uh, how much of Jack's album were you, were you a part of, would you say again? Uh, the entire thing. I was one of the executive producers. For yeah. the last one and the new one? The last one, yeah. Come Home, The Kids Miss You. Nice, dude. Really? Yeah. That's Thank so you. What, um, what kind of music um, did you listen to as a kid and like, what, what really made you want to do music? I mean, I grew up with uh, parents who are from different countries. My mom is from Argentina, my dad is from Syria. So I grew up listening to a lot of Arabic music, tango, you know, pop music, Selena, Luther Vandross, all sorts of blend and mixture. And 
I started playing classical piano when I was seven, so I've been a lover of all music since I was very young. Do you have any advice for any upcoming like musicians or you know or songwriters that want to do you know music as well? Absolutely. I think. Obviously, keep working really hard, practicing every day at your instrument, or whether it is programming or engineering or singing or whatever it is, you know, you got to find your, your talent and your superpower and harness that. And I think focusing on one thing goes a lot farther than trying to do everything. I wrote, uh, Poe wrote a really good song and it got around the world, it got really huge. And yeah. So when you, um, do you have like a specific writing process or like when you're writing your songs or you listen to certain types of music? Yeah, so my process kind of varies based on if I'm in a room with an artist or if I'm at home. But um, normally I just like to listen to the music. I don't like to listen to the music unless I'm like at the mic with headphones on and uh, just putting the first thing I, I think of on to that music because you got to just listen to what the beat is telling you and. You know what I'm saying? You see what comes out. If I'm with the artist, just starting off with a conversation, mm -hmm. what are you going through? Um, anything you feel like you haven't talked about, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. You know? what, what would you say is like one is one of those things that you know keeps you going to keep making music? Like, is there someone that maybe that you look up to that's in the music yeah. industry? It was a lot of my friends and um, family that just believed in me before I believed in myself. And um, as of two years ago, I got a kid, so now my son is like my purpose. Thank you. My son is uh, my purpose. So, yeah. So, um, when you're when you're making music now, do you ever make you know? Food? Say that again. When you're making music now, do you ever do you feel like you like because of that change that you could also see that change in in your music? Oh yeah, thousand percent. I travel a lot. And when I travel, I like to go to museums and listen to my favorite albums. I like to um, try different food, learn a couple, um, learn a couple words from that, you know, that country or whatever, and um, let that kind of fuel my next session, or you know, just kind of fuel me creatively. Yeah. Who would you say is your favorite um, songwriter, producer? You know, of all time and right now. Of all time, and, uh, that's hard. That's a hard question. Um, I really like um, the Dream. I really like Missy Elliott. Um, and then as of right now, it's just a bunch of us that's killing it. You know what I'm saying? Between myself, Jazzy, Amy Allen, Nisha. There's like so many. And they, you know, we all got different styles and stuff like that. So I think we all killing it as a whole. You know? Awesome. Wow. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. Um, I'm winning an award today for a song called Who's In Your Head by the Jonas Brothers. Um, and I wrote the song with Max Martin and uh, Rami Yaku and Ilya. Um, and it started on a day that I didn't expect to see Max Martin in the studio. And we're working on something, having fun. And Max creeped into the room and it was like a bucket list for me because Max has always been my biggest idol. So um, really? it was a moment that I actually, will, I genuinely will never forget. So it's um, it's it's, a, it's an exciting thing. I was gonna say, like, do you have a big moment in your career that you remember? But that must have been it. Like that must have been. That was a big moment. Um, my first, well, I mean, my biggest, my biggest song was um, uh, Dynamite with BTS, and that was a pretty life-changing moment, I guess. So I, I don't think things come bigger. I, I, I haven't had a bigger moment than that yet. So. Um, that was pretty exciting. Do you remember like what made you want to do music and get started in? Um, it was what I gravitated towards as a kid. Um, both my parents are in this in the world of like music and entertainment, so not that it was ever forced upon me, but it was like by osmosis. It was always around me, and I just wanted to do it. And it's fun. I can't believe I get to do this as a job. It's like it still makes me laugh. What would you say is like in a piece of advice that you would give for aspiring, you know, uh, you know songwriters or um, become numb to the word no? You know, you're gonna get no a lot. Even when you're super successful, you're gonna get no a lot. And um, the less that you can like uh, worry about the word no, the more uh, you're gonna like just keep moving forward. When you you know, it's 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 one of those things. It's like. It sounds a bit negative, but in fact, 
when when no is like just off, you know, like um, off of uh, uh, what's it called, uh, War of the Ducks back, it becomes life becomes a breeze. Um, I got an award for my song Fingers Crossed, um, which is a pop song, sad ballad. Um, my producer was also with BMI, so he got one too. Um, but yeah. Big day for the crew. Yeah, big day for the gang. Yeah, yeah for the gang. Okay. Yeah. Well, um, so can you tell us a little bit how you got, you know, started in making music and yeah. what, you know, what really makes you keep wanting to make it? Yeah, um, honestly, I started really young, um, just entering random competitions and uploading singing videos on, like, YouTube and Facebook and, like, the old social medias. Um, I randomly was on American Idol when I was 16 as well, um, and I met my co-songwriter, who I write with all the time, on American Idol, and she's the person who taught me how to songwrite. Um, and she's from LA, so I came out to LA and lived with her, and kind of ever since it's just been, yeah. So music has always been the thing that. Yeah, I've definitely always wanted to do music since I was really young. What would you say, like, what advice would you give to any of our viewers who, you know, are maybe aspiring? Yeah, I would say definitely work hard. Um, there's always going to be somebody that's better than you and wants it more than you, so you got to put the work in and be consistent. Awesome. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you so it. much. Yeah. Yeah. The song started uh, with one of my dear friend Sarah Aaron's, um, and uh, just was one of those ones that just happened. You write so many songs every year, and so many of them are terrible. And once in a while, you get a decent one. And um, I was lucky enough to be with Halsey and Sarah. And Halsey was an incredible writer. And um, yeah, I just happened to be surrounded by some incredible, talented people. And and I'm so happy that it's out in the world for everyone here. The real drive is just, it's the, it's the thing I love most in the world. And it's um, the only thing that I don't really find it to be work, you know? It's, it's I just do it every day. It's kind of my passion. And um, it, I just can't really imagine life not doing it. And so I guess for all the ones that don't work, it's nice for one to work because it really means that, oh, you know, I think all this work pays off at some point, you know? So. Right, right. Um, last question, who would you say is like, who are you like listening to most right now? And who would you say is like your biggest inspiration for like, as an artist? Oh man, that's a hard one to, uh, that's a hard one to answer. Um, oh man, I don't know, I've been listening to a lot of it, just, it's kind of a, uh, it's been out for a minute, but I love the latest Dijon record, uh, it's been really inspiring. Um, but every week it changes. I, I, I don't know. It's, it's kind of like whatever is, uh, I don't know, whatever lyric really kind of connects with you that morning. I feel like it's kind of the one for that, for that week, you know? This guy right here, he won for Glimpse of Us, Joji. I'm his publisher. I'm usually on the other side getting these guys, and it's, a, it's such an honor to be here. Yeah. So more than these, you know, on the other side as a publisher. So it's really, really cool. Yeah. So, how did that whole, how did that happen? Did Tell the story. Happen? I'd love to hear the story. I bet you've been hearing it all night, bro. No, bro. I used to work across the street in the bar. Well, I used to work at the Four Seasons. Serving drinks. Serving drinks. And I was always making drinks for every night. And I would always work this night to be here for this event across the street. To meet all the big writers and producers. He, he served me a drink a few years ago. Yeah. And this guy, this guy discovered him, brought him to the table, we signed him, and the rest is history. Now we're here. Now you're here. Where did you, I didn't even notice you come in. <laughs> That's right here. You didn't now come in here. here. Pop in. Now we're right. here. Then we're here. This is elephant art. Just take that right out. I got my belt. Let me tell you the real story. My girl's my rock. You guys, are you working on anything? Or? We're working on this new music. We have. I'm just keep I keep writing songs for the world. Always working on Do you have any tips for our viewers who you know are struggling to maybe you know make it as well? Like you know, something that keeps you going that you can. I mean, I'm a prototype. I'm telling you right now. I used to. I was a bartender across the street. What are the tips? The tips is this: don't stop. I know you hear. You hear it all the time. But put yourself in the position to execute when the time comes. Because that's what happened to me. And also, don't stop dreaming. That's what makes creative people and artists 
succeed. Dreaming, because like you, you could be in your room by yourself and you know, dream big and you keep making it happen. You go for it, go for it, go for it. That's for me. I'm still dreaming.